This video I'm going to show how to download and install the free video editing software DaVinci Resolve 20. So the first thing that I will do is open up Chrome and start typing in to search for DaVinci Resolve. And then once I see the option in the results, I'll go down and select it. Now once the results load, I want to click on this first option from blackmagicdesign.com which will take me to that website. Then after the site loads, I'll scroll down a bit to click on the free download now link just above the paid version. Now I want to click on the Windows X86 option since I'm using Windows 11, and that will take me to the registration page where I provide my details, and then scroll down to click on register and download. And that will automatically start the download, so if you click on the link provided to download in case it doesn't start, Chrome will start downloading a second copy, which should make it take longer for the first to complete. And if you go to full download history in Chrome, you can cancel the second download if you have it, and then delete the entry. Now I'll just wait for the download to complete, which can take several minutes or more, depending on your internet connection speed. And after the download is finished, I'll click on the folder icon to open File Explorer to my downloads and then delete the entry and close Chrome. Then from here I'll right click on the zip file and go down to click on Extract All, and then over to click on the Extract button. Doing this will decompress the installation file into a new folder where I will cut and paste it into the downloads directory, and then delete the zip file and empty folder. Now I can just double click the application file to start the installation process and then go over to empty my recycle bin while it works to begin the install. Which as you can see from the timer at the bottom left, it can take a couple of minutes to start extracting the files it needs for the installation. Then once the extraction is done, it will prompt me to allow the application to make changes to my computer so I will click yes and then wait for the installer to pop up with options. And from there I will leave everything set as is and click on install to begin the setup which will take about a minute or so to begin. Then I will click the next button and agree to the terms in the license agreement by checking the box and click next again, then next and now the install button. This part of the installation process takes a couple of minutes, and as you can see from the timer below left, the total install took me just under 12 minutes. So I will click on the finish button, and it will do a couple more things and give me the installation complete where I will click OK, then go over and rename the desktop icon, and move it to where I want it. Then I can just double click on it and DaVinci Resolve will start up and take me through a setup process when it first loads. So after reading what's new, I'll click on continue and then on quick setup to go through a system check to make sure I can run the software with decent performance. Then I'll click continue and select Ultra HD since I'll be working with 4K video, then click continue again to choose my media location, which you can change by click on the magnifying glass icon, but I just keep the default setting and click continue to choose my keyboard layout. And I leave set to DaVinci Resolve and click continue and then start which will open the free video editing software. Then the last thing I need to do is give DaVinci Resolve permission to access my network for updates and I'll be ready to start editing video. Hopefully this video has helped and feel free to ask any questions that you still may have in the comments. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe for more quick and on point videos.